Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to work uh, with the withdrawal form. Okay. So first of all, design withdrawal form, and after that you can uh, code for the withdrawal form. So uh, let's do start. And uh, okay. Now come to the code part that is uh, when we click on the get data I want to retrieve the uh, data uh, on the um, get button so banking db entities db1 equals to new banking db entities uh, okay so decimal b uh, the, what is the logic behind the get data actually uh, pass the account number uh, in the query and get the data from the user table okay or you can say the uh, user deposit table and all the data uh, passed to the name as well as the old balance table okay so uh, first of all change uh, your uh, name property of all the text boxes and after that you can do okay uh, you can use uh, the combo box in place of uh, the text box because it's too much comfortable uh, decimal b equals to convert dot two decimal account text dot text okay mm, it's a two decimal account text dot text variable item from you in uh, dbe dot uh, the table name is user accounts in which you can save your amounts of that mm, uh, of the user so u uh, u dot account number is equals to b okay it's too much simple number equals to b and select u dot first or default and dot first or default now a uh, name text dot text equals to item dot name old balance a dot text equals to convert dot uh, to string item dot balance okay load combo as well as load date and uh, you know very well about uh, load date and the load combo uh, in the load combo we have two items that is cash and the check and in the load date uh, that show the current date of the server so date label dot text equals to date time dot utc now dot to string in which you can add mmdd5 by format that is month days and year okay it's a standard time and date uh, format and combo box one dot items dot add that is cash and the check okay so first of all add a cash and after that you can add the check okay now after doing this 
you can uh, code for the save button for the button to click okay uh, so again uh, you can make uh, the banking db entities db1 equals to new banking db entities for the instance of the context class and after that you can retrieve the account number as well as the deposit uh, or you can say uh, debit form okay uh, so a new account uh, okay and the debit db db equals to new debit db dot date equals to date label dot text dp dot account number is retrieved from the account number so convert dot to date at uh, two decimal and in which you can pass account text dot text dp dot name is name text dot text and uh, dp dot old balance is convert dot to decimal in which you can pass the decimal number old balance dot text dot text dp dot mod is combo box one dot selected item dot to string okay dp dot debit amount is convert dot to decimal that is amount text dot text okay that is the uh, deposited amount you can say or you can say the debited amount okay uh, so dbe dot uh, debits dot add dp and uh, after that you can uh, subtract the uh, amount from the deposited table or you can say the user account table it's too much easy you can do if you uh, do this decimal um, b equals to new convert dot to decimal account text dot text and uh, item from you oops okay you in db dot user accounts because i want to subtract the uh, amount from the user account tables so you dot account number first of all check the account number because i want to subtract the amount from the uh, particular account uh, on the basis of the particular account number so first or default and after that you can retrieve the item okay so item dot balance is uh, subtract from item dot balance minus convert dot to decimal deposited sorry amount or text okay db dot uh, save changes and uh, masses box dot show and uh, uh, debited money successfully okay uh, now loss of code is happening okay done I think something mistake on the button 1 and the button 2 because uh, the button 2 is directly related to the get details I think yeah that's a mistake uh, I do the code for the button 2 button 2 is not related to the get details it's related to the save button and get detail button is related to the that is button so uh, first of all uh, extract this and uh, quick action and the refactoring use you can extract method and save this method into the a single method okay in a single method you can do this uh, interchange that method stub extract method so new method so you can rename it um, and interchange both methods that is 
that data is related to the save and that data is related to the retrieved but both buttons are uh, different each other so it's not related to the save data it's related to the retrieve data so button 2 is directly related to the retrieve data so and button 2 is related to the retrieve data and button 1 is related to the save data so you can again and successful your code so thank you very much guys and keep watching my all other videos tutorial which is related to asp.net uh, sorry uh, in windows form because i am currently working on the asp.net core 2.0 so okay so guys uh, if you want to keep uh, if you want to learn many more things about asp.net core 2.0 please subscribe my channel uh, that is under in my ch uh, channel tab asp.net core 2.0 and subscribe this channel also uh, if you want more videos thank you very much for uh, watching this video thank you thank you again